Welcome to part number 17 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the second half of the hidden events. But first, we have to go and rice out our Hummer. In terms of the driving experience, I do like the heights. Apart from that, not really. Yeah, body kits for days on this thing. Eh, screw the... Okay, nope. We don't really have much in terms of all this stuff. So that, that'll do it for now for the body kit stuff. Take practicality and throw it out the window. The performance shop will tweak your ride to get the most horses and torque you need. Okay, so I transitioned back. I'm at the Megalo parts. I realized that I went to the wrong performance shop. Upgrade so the brains of yeah, your here ride we go. By swapping out the stock computer with a super chip. Now transmission is where you lose most of your power. So any up harden your suspension and slice through turns by upgrading. Nitrous is extra power stuffed into a tank. Remember, amp up your brakes to shorten the stopping dip. Put your car on a diet. Less weight means more speed. So the reason why I'm not doing tires and turbo is because Nitrous will help us for sure. Tires and turbo won't really help us this early on in terms of performance parts. And with Street, Pro, and, and Extreme packages, you can combine them all together. Nitrous, tires, and turbo, you can't, so I feel like it'd be a waste of money. Especially for a car we're not even going to use that much. But Nitrous will help us out for the races, obviously. Okay, so as you can see, we've teleported over here. And the next thing we got to do is go to the um, Unique Visual Shop. I think it's what it's called. Or Accessory Shop, I mean. So we go this way. It's just right up the road. <laughs> Due to the lack of scales. Hey, accessorize your ride with style and turn some heads when you race by upgrading your car's looks and audio right here. There we go. Those are the spinners that I want. Yeah, boy. They just seem dark. I don't really want to waste money right now on uh, like hydraulics and all of that. Especially not on the SUV, not yet. We'll get to that when we get more stuff unlocked. Alright, so paint shop is the last thing we'll do. Two American steel. Plastic. Hey, vinyl is second skin style for your paint, so layer it on. Yeah, we've unlocked the contest vinyls. Making your ride stand out is what it's all about, so customize your ride with a color change. That's hot. No, no, actually, no, no. We want to do. I want to do. Blue and then the spinners themselves. Yeah! <laughs> Good lord. And then decals. Yeah, you'll find plenty of the sponsor's decals here. Let the crowd know what's underneath that monster. And then for the decal here, I want to do... Where's Kenwood at? There we go, Kenwood. Okay, so that completes the ricing for the Hummer for now. We'll put more money into this when I unlock more stuff for it. As you see, we have a third slot now because of the new sponsor contract. Could be up the street, too. Yep, it's up the street. It's a street cross event. Okay. And here we go. Burger King foot lettuce. Um, OK, 
okay, they took each other out, I guess. Cruz de la calle. <laughs> Sounds like a disease. Hey, welcome back, dude. Uh, no. It's the Toyota Supra. I know we get it in stage 3. The Toyota Supra is going to be like the one car in this LP that I don't completely destroy and make look ugly. Like, I actually want to put like nice nice care to the Supra and like not make it look like a complete piece of crap. And I'm being serious too, I'm not joking. Okay, so that's hidden race number five done. There's one up the street at the gas station, I think. Oh no, it's in the alleyway. But yeah, all the other cars are gonna get the complete NFS Underground 2 rice treatment. Like this 240, for example. So the next event's this way. Oh, it's a drift event. <laughs> Watch the super be less than one star and be referred to as your dad's car. But yeah. I, I plan on having... 240 keep sweeper I want every car to be 10 stars obviously I plan on keeping sweeper on the 240 and possibly the spoiler if I can because of the fact that I have the unique rims and hood which should give us enough points the Hummer I can put um, the Orion body kits on and if I wanted to keep Orion I can put carbon fiber and literally carbon fiber doesn't do anything to the car except for the side skirt the side skirt is the only thing that changes and it'll give you a free two stars, literally. And the contest finals don't get removed by the carbon fiber uh, body kit, so that's good. But car number four and car number five are going to have Valhalla and Stingray body kits. I guarantee you that. Ninety-five thousand points, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Damn, a huge margin of victory in the drift event. Car audio and electronics cover opportunity. Cool. Roll in front of the rest, and car audio and electronics may put your ride on their glossy. Okay, so the last two hidden events are up in Jackson Heights, both of them. There's one directly to the west of both shops in here. Okay, it's a sprint race. That's cool. Oh no. It's through the heights. God damn it. Look at that Audi TT with the Orion body kit. Yeah, 
Yeah, the only way we can really win here is if we're dirty. We have to be really dirty. Yeah, because I'm not putting up with the freaking bullshit rubber banding here. No siree. Yeah, I hate this map too, dude. SR down. Look at that! Look how fast they caught up! Look how much more speed they're carrying into these really tight corners. Like, give me a break. Dude, I hate this map too. Like, with a burning passion. If it wasn't for rubber banding, then the, the heights would be so much more fun to race on. Only the drift events are fun here. Okay, this little S section I actually do like. I actually do like this section a lot. I appreciate that, Vladislav. The race is not over yet. Because of how fast the nitrous drains, we gotta save that bottle for the last home stretch. Because I do not want to repeat this damn race again. Oh, yeah, dude, that was a ton of fun, Marvin. Dude, Turnbull Canyon is so much fun to drive through. Like, every time I get a chance to go through Turnbull, I always do. Yeah, the margin of victory was too low. Okay, so that's that event. So the last hidden event in Stage 3 is right up the way. Okay, we're here. It's right inside this little plaza. Where is it? There. Oh, it's a drag race. Okay, thank God. Old McDonald is rolling up from the country. <laughs> no kidding. Well, I'm running in set number three. This race is actually really difficult. No, I'm not a rage gamer. <laughs> I mean, the only time I really rage, if it's like... Honestly, GT Sport, dude. That's like the first game I've raged at in a long time, and I'm like, dude, I have to take a break from this game. Dude, you, it's so blind. You can't see anything. Okay, we win. You only rage when you play Minecraft? How old are you again, Marvin? All right, let me make a thumbnail real quick. And yeah, that's our thumbnail made. You know what, since we're in Jackson Heights and, ooh, we got new rims, but it doesn't matter for the 240 because we already got the most unique rims we could get. Yeah, since we're already in the area, we might as well do the special event. Might as well do the magazine shoot for this magazine shoot. Oh, it's a time trial. Okay, so let me get some nitrous real quick. Lost like four hours of nothing. Okay, it's Beacon Hill. You broke the controller. Ooh. You wait! Oh my god, you lost the championship in the last race? Is that how tight the championship was?
you know, it takes me some time, Greenleaf. Like, it, it definitely does. It doesn't take me super long to edit the videos themselves, because all I really do is just edit out like fluff, you know, like fail attempts or anything like that, unless it's like something significant and funny that I want to add in. What really takes up a lot of time is rendering. So what I like to do is I like to edit videos, then save the Vegas file, then when I'm going to school or something, put it to render. Or if I'm going to do um, chores, or if I gotta go to the store, or go have lunch, I, that's when I put videos to actually render. Editing doesn't really take a long time for these kind of videos. If I was doing like special effects, or like vlogs, or like music reels, stuff like that, then it would take me way longer. You were doing fine the first four races until what happened? Dude, I thought... <laughs> you know, Marvin, funny thing you mentioned that because I was just gonna say, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm, I'm gonna say, like, what, you almost lost like Marvin did? Well, he didn't really lose, but, dude, I thought Marvin was not gonna win the World Championship when he was doing his LP of GT4. I was like, so nervous. Alright, so let's park the car in, like, here. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's a good magazine cover right there. Only $792, hey? Okay, so that takes care of all of the hidden events in Stage 3. Next time on NFS Underground 2, we're going to take a massive detour in terms of progression in the career mode. Because we got to get some money.